Comic Boom. Hey guys, Comic Boom here to review Batman issue 84, where the secrets of Flashpoint Batman are revealed. How did he get into our timeline? What are his motivations? What's going on? Why is he a bad guy? What happened? Well, Tom King gives us some answers. Are they going to be answers that anybody finds good? Well, it's probably going to be like with everything else with Tom King. Probably 50% are going to like it and 50% like me are going to have some issues with it. But I will say this. This issue does have some high points. It even has some emotional points. And it, once again, in my view, doesn't really fit into the larger narrative. There are editorial screw-ups in here. One major one involving, Flash po uh, involving the reverse Flash, who was supposed to be drawn like the Flash, so there was a coloring mistake, which I suppose we should blame the colorist, Jordi Belair. You screwed up at least one major time. Editorial never caught it, but we'll get into that. Uh, and uh, it doesn't really fit into the larger narratives. There's continuity holes all over the place. But let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. And spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Man, uh, full confession, I actually did a full video of this already. I did a 25-minute video of this, and I scrapped the whole thing for a whole slew of different reasons. Uh, I, the reason why I scrapped it was because I spent too much time trying to uh, tell the story in reverse order. And I didn't like the way it turned out, so I said, screw it. So I'm just going to do this more stream of consciousness type of review because it, it's better that way. I'm probably going to do a full encompassing uh, video of Batman's run as a whole later on down the road at, at, at the conclusion and after issue 85. But for now, let's talk issue 84. So Flashpoint Batman... This doesn't really describe how he survived the Flashpoint paradox. So the, the Flashpoint universe, Flashpoint Batman is obviously from the Flashpoint universe. And if you recall, for those of you who know anything about Flashpoint Batman, at the end of the Flashpoint miniseries, he dies. He kills the reverse Flash. And, and as him and the reverse, you know, he kills the reverse Flash and he dies. And Barry Allen takes off, holds his dying mom in his arms, and uh, or and base and essentially undoes the act that created the Flashpoint universe in the first place, which was namely when Barry Allen saved his mom's life, uh, it created the Flashpoint alternate timeline. Well, Barry Allen undid that. His mom, Barry Allen's mom, then died, restoring the timeline. Now, this is the important point here that unfortunately Tom King has never really grasped, and that is the fact that the Flashpoint universe was an alternate timeline. It is not an alternate universe. So when we say the Flashpoint universe, what we really mean, it's the Flashpoint timeline. So it was a timeline that was corrected. So it, it, of, the, of the multiverse, of the DC multiverse, there's 52 Earths. There isn't a single Earth that, that encapsulates the Flashpoint timeline. The Flashpoint timeline was, in fact, the timeline of Earth Designate Zero. It was an alternate timeline that was corrected by Barry Allen when per Barry Allen undid the act of saving his mother's life, and therefore the timeline was restored. So it doesn't make any sense that Flashpoint Batman is alive. It doesn't, because the moment that timeline was corrected by Barry Allen, Flashpoint Batman ceased to exist, ceased to exist. It's, it's that simple. So we need an explanation right off the bat. We need an explanation as to how the Flashpoint Batman exists. And sorry, guys, we don't get it. All we get in this thing is uh, something that doesn't make any sense. We just we, it, has, it shows a scene here where uh, Batman, uh, Batman, Flashpoint Batman lies dying. And there's a light, so you think he dies. But then it ends up he comes back to life. And there's no explanation as to how, as to how he comes back to life. And then how does he get into... What what happens then? Apparently, then the flashpoint. It, now, again, the flashpoint timeline shouldn't exist, but it somehow not only does the flashpoint timeline exist in Tom King's mind, but then Reverse Flash is still alive, and that's because of the confusing series, the four issue series of the button. The Reverse Flash is still alive, and apparently, somehow, the Reverse Flash, before he died, the Reverse Flash saved Flashpoint Batman and brought Flashpoint Batman into our Earth, into our timeline, which again, doesn't make sense, and as a way of punishing him. So the Flashpoint Batman wanted to punish Flash, uh, pardon me, the reverse Flash, wanted to punish Flashpoint Batman for killing him by taking Flashpoint Batman to a universe where his son became him, as if that was the ultimate curse. Here's a universe where your son has become Batman just like you. And somehow the Flash, uh, somehow Reverse Flash 
seems to think or to know that that's something that Thomas Wayne doesn't want, that Thomas Wayne hates that. Now, why would Thomas Wayne even dislike the idea of his son becoming Batman? Because even that doesn't make a lot of sense. But we got to follow the logic of Tom King as he tries to put lipstick on the pig of his larger narrative here. So this is, this is the explanation. So uh, the origin of Flashpoint Batman is in Crime Alley, uh, Bruce Wayne is killed. Uh, John, uh, Thomas and Martha uh, watch their son, Bruce Wayne, die. Martha goes insane. The trauma of that event dr drives Martha to become the Flashpoint Joker. Thomas Wayne becomes the Flashpoint Batman, and he goes uh, on a rampage. He becomes Flashpoint Batman, and he kills all the villains. He kills Mr. Freeze, he kills the Penguin, kills all these villains. Meanwhile, Martha, as the Joker, psychotic, and she kills a bunch too. And Flashpoint Bat Batman also ultimately ends up teaming up with Flashpoint Catwoman, who's the same age as, as, he, as he states as how Bruce would be. So he doesn't kill Catwoman because he feels an affinity toward Catwoman because Catwoman would be about the same age as his, Bruce, his, as his son Bruce if his son Bruce had not been killed. And so Flashpoint Batman and Flashpoint Catwoman, they almost become like a Batman and Robin of their day. You know, they become, they, they become close and she's like a quasi-daughter to Flashpoint Batman. Unfortunately, Martha, Joker, the Flashpoint Joker kills Selena Kyle, the Flashpoint Selena Kyle. And that really depresses <laughs> Thomas Wayne, as you can imagine. <coughs> and Thomas Wayne then, following that, he begins to uh, use lethal force again in killing the villains because Selena Kyle had softened him up and he'd become a nicer, more gentler Batman because of the influence of Flashpoint Selena Kyle. Well, once Selena Kyle is killed by Martha Wayne, or Martha Wayne the Flashpoint Joker, that made Thomas Wayne into a jerk again, and he starts utilizing lethal force. Then what happened is the Flashpoint timeline kicked in, and he ultimately ends up uh, killing... He ultimately ends up uh, killing the Reverse Flash, and seemingly dying, uh, but he doesn't die. Somehow he gets... Uh, he becomes... Uh, he doesn't die. The events of the button then happen, and he meets Bruce Wayne, his son as Batman in our universe. And he then goes and he tells Martha Wayne, the Joker, who, who their son became. Look, Mar he's, he says to Martha, my God, Martha, you're not gonna believe this. I met Bruce our, uh, as an older person in another universe, he became Batman. And apparently that depressed Martha Wayne so much, Martha Wayne slash Joker, that she committed suicide. That sent Thomas Wayne over the edge because he's lost. He lost his own his own son, young Bruce Wayne. He lost uh, Selena Kyle. He loses his wife, and of course he also lost Alfred because Martha, uh, as Martha Wayne as the Joker, also killed Alfred because Alfred couldn't find her pearls. And the night of the Trump, the traumatic event of the night of, that where Bruce Wayne was killed, their son, she lost her pearls and she fixated on the pearls. And so Thomas Wayne has lost everything in his Flashpoint existence. He's lost Alfred, he's lost Martha Wayne, he's lost his son, and he's lost the, his, his uh, quasi-daughter, uh, Selena Kyle. So he's a mess. And in his twisted mind, in his twisted mind, he hates Batman. He hates that he had to become Batman because everything, everything that has been rotten in his life, he associates with the persona of Batman. And so when he ends up in our universe as a punishment imposed upon him by the reverse flash. In our universe, he walks around and he actually spies on Batman. He spies on Bruce Wayne. And he spies on him and he sees him in date night. He sees Bruce Wayne, Batman, propose to, to the Catwoman in our universe. He witnesses all that. This, this book illustrates all this. Uh, Thomas Wayne, Flashpoint Batman, witnessed all this. All, all those, if you go through the first 84 issues of Tom King's run, the previous 83 issues, through all those, all those issues of the, the, the date night and the, the proposal and uh, even uh, the Booster Gold, uh, uh, the Booster Gold storyline where Booster Gold gives Batman a gift by, sending, by, by going back in the past and imagining what life would be like if Bruce Wayne's parents were not, were not killed. That whole timeline... Thomas Wayne witnessed all that, or at least claims to, 
and this motivates Thomas Wayne to to suspect that some that somebody is behind all this. Somebody must be orchestrating all these crazy events from happening. Now, why he would think that? Why he would go back? He'd see he he went back. Thomas Wayne saw that his son was happy. Saw that his son was going to be happy with Selena Kyle. Bruce had proposed to Catwoman. Back. Everything was fine. Why would Thomas Wayne want to screw that up? A ha Batman can be happy. Yet in Thomas Wayne's twisted mind, because of everything that Thomas Wayne had gone through in the Flashpoint universe, he somehow believes now that despite the fact that by all, by all the evidence that would be available to him, the date night, the proposal, everything, clearly Bruce Wayne, his son, is on the way to achieving some level of happiness, yet Thomas Wayne sets out on a path to destroy that happiness by teaming up with the very person that wants to destroy his son, and that is Bane. So that makes no sense, yet that is what Tom King has written, and that's what's appalling, and that's what's not really good about this story, and that's why I'm not a big fan of it at all. It just doesn't hold any water. Now, it will hold a little bit more water if you just accept the fact that, well, you know, Thomas Wayne was just plain crazy. He had a very, very traumatic event through the, on, Flash, on his Flashpoint world, and that's just the way he processed it all. And he processed it all in such a way that he just determined that he was going to save his son. And there's a phrase, there's a phrase that uh, in the Flashpoint universe that Thomas Wayne made a vow to young Bruce Wayne, uh, stating to him point blank that, I swear by the spirits of my parents to protect your life by spending the rest of my life warring against anything that might cause you pain. So that was the vow that Thomas Wayne said to his young Bruce Wayne in the Flashpoint universe. He said, I'm going to spend the rest of my life warring against anything that might cause you pain. And yet he turns around, comes to our universe, and what does he do? He causes nothing but his son for his son but pain. Does that make any sense? Where is the thematic connection? Where's the consistency? Where's the through line of the store of the theme and the and the and the narrative connections that you want to make, Tom King? Where are they? They're not consistent. They don't make any sense. But let me tell you how Tom King tries to make some of this make sense. He he once again references Joker using the word banana, referencing to Bane, which is absurd. He um, well, I guess he shows the death of Kite Man. I don't know. Uh, at least we never got a hell yeah here. Um, I guess there's, there's no poetry in this issue. I guess that's something. We get another reference. Uh, Flashpoint Batman and Flashpoint Catwoman argue about where they met. They argue whether or not they met on the roof or at a bank. That, that, that can be juxtaposed against the, the proposal issue or uh, issue 50 or the ongoing dispute between Batman and Selena Kyle in terms of did they meet on a boat or did they meet on a rooftop, right? So we got that sort of, those connections there. Uh, we got, um, yeah, we get, uh, we, we get, we get the death of the penguin here. Now the death of the penguin is interesting. Uh, for some reason I keep, I, I keep being re reminded of the fact in my mind that Tom King suggests that the penguin screws penguins. Yeah. He did that in an earlier issue, and here the Penguin is killed by the Flashpoint Batman. Uh, yeah. Other thing here is Martha Wayne, his wife, killed Alfred. Now, if the death of, Martha, of his wife, Martha Wayne, caused trauma for, for Thomas Wayne, and if the, death of, if, if the death of his Alfred, with his wife killing Alfred, that caused him pain. Why would Thomas Wayne come to our universe and one of, one of his pivotal acts of trauma against his son Bruce, why would he want to kill Alfred? Why would he want to do that? Why would, he, why would he help orchestrate having Dick Grayson shot in the head? Why would Thomas Wayne do this? Does this sound like a person who has sworn a vow to protect his son and spend the rest of his life warring against anything that might cause his son pain? Does that sound like somebody that would do, do that? Does that sound like a rational act? Thomas Wayne orchestrates, works with Bane to shoot, uh, to orchestrate a matter so that uh, Dick Grayson gets shot in the head, so Alfred gets killed, so his, the wedding is ruined, so Bruce Wayne, is, 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 his back is broken, thrown in a Lazarus pit, uh, 
made to run 300 miles, run, walk 300 miles to go to get, uh, to get the guy you shot, uh, KG Beast? I mean, it goes on and on and on here. I mean, what, what Batman, what Th Thomas Wayne has, what Flashpoint Batman has put his son through over these 83 issues has been nothing but sh short of horrendous. And, and he worked with Bane to do it. Wouldn't it make more sense? I mean, you got to play script doctor here. Because none of this makes any sense. If Thomas, Wayne, if Thomas Wayne wanted to protect his son and make his son happy to get his son to stop being Batman, if he was obsessed with his son to get his son to stop being Batman, wouldn't it make more sense for Thomas Wayne to come into the universe and start to kill off the villains? Kill off this world's Joker, Riddler, Bane? Kill them off? Instead of help Bane? I mean, Thomas Wayne even saved the Joker's life because Thomas Wayne promised the jo Thomas Wayne is the one that saved the Joker's life in that church. It was Thomas Wayne that saved the Joker's life after Selina Kyle defeated the Joker in the, in the church. In issue, whatever that was, I can't even remember now, in, in the 45, 46, it was Thomas Wayne that saved the Joker. And why? Because he wanted the Joker to tell him who was behind everything. And of course, the Joker told him it was banana, right? Banana meaning Bane. What a great clue. So that, and that was what got Thomas Wayne to approach Bane and say, look, I know my boy. You know, you want to break him? I want to break him too. I want to break him of this habit of being Batman because that's nonsense. Anyways, all of this, all of this, I could go, I mean, this whole thing just rubs me, uh, it just, it rubs me the wrong way. And, uh, you know, look, the, the art here is really great, but, you know, here we are at the end and uh, Thomas Wayne says, Listen to a man, to your father, who chose what you chose, who suffered the consequences of being this bat, this whore. For once in your damn life, listen. Do what I should have done. Son, stay down. Uh, well, obviously he's not going to stay down. And why would he stay down? And um, again, he's made his son's life worse. Made his son's life worse. He's made his son's life more miserable. And... And I say again, and I, and I double down on this, um, I double down on this, they are not father and son. They are not father and son. They aren't. They aren't. If he's, if he's part of the timeline, if he's, if, he's, if he's part of an alternate timeline, he's part of an alternate timeline, he's not part of your timeline, and therefore he's not your father. Or he's not your son, vice versa. But if you want to play that game, fine. But still, still, if he is, if he is your father... He can't be, but if he is, he certainly isn't much of one, and he, he goes against his existing character. But this is the issue. This has been the problem with Tom King. Tom King has stated before his belief that Thomas Wayne was insane, that the Flashpoint Thomas Wayne was insane. Of course, Thomas Wayne wasn't insane. Thomas Wayne very clearly was simply someone who used lethal force. Just because you want to kill bad guys doesn't mean you're insane. It just, like, it just means that you use lethal force when you kill bad guys. Lots of people do that. It's his war on crime. It doesn't mean he's insane. And, but it is what it is. Guys, you can tell me what you think of Batman 84. I already know what I think. Uh, overall, I would give this, uh, the art was enough okay. I'm gonna, I would give this a uh, four and a half out of 10. The art, the art I would give an eight out of 10. But beyond that, much is to be desired here. There's one issue left. I don't even know what else there's supposed to be resolved. Now there's just going to be a, a fist of cuffs and a fight between uh, Flashpoint Batman and his son. And whatever it's going to be is what it's going to be. But in the meantime, guys, tell me what you think. Follow me on Twitter at Metropolis40. Until next time, Comic Boom, out.